Gotta be one of those rubber bands, good enough. This is not. I don't enjoy trying to conserve energy. That takes me out of my rhythm. Trying to go out there and not give it my all, I can't find rhythm when I do it. If I'm dead in the fourth, I'm dead in the fourth. But like, I'd rather come up with 10 huge GBs and have zero goals than, than go out there and conserve energy and run the motions. And, and I just haven't been able to do that. Here, feed me a couple of these. I learned how to get that short side a little better. I do a lot of uh, cutting because I suck at catching the ball and run. Um, but if nobody's here, I'll just set, shoot, get footing right. I do a lot of the stuff I was doing when I catch the ball. So I'll throw it off the board. A lot of times just practicing this roll, getting my foot in right. Because in games, I always end up like, step in here, and then I bring my next step and it's off balance. And the guy can check me and throw me more off balance. So it's like about keeping my footing close and being able to come here. I played it really safe all season. Like I didn't, I wasn't shifting around. I wasn't stopping and going. I was that one direction, make a move and go. It happened in the whips game. Whips game, yeah. This was like, if I go too far, that might just. Yeah. The shroom would be better though, a lot better. Often, I get, I get mad every game. Get mad at myself. I struggled with it during the PLL season. I remember writing after my games and writing all about like, why do I feel pressure and why do I feel like I'm not enjoying the experience of the game, being present to the whole thing. I realized I was in the process of trying to play with a clear mind and not think about the end result, not think about the winning. I was manifesting bad stuff. It's just a tough, tough, tough season for me. And for it to be like the year we come back from the pandemic, you know, part of you is just like on a high that you're able to travel again and play again. But in other parts, like I'm not playing how I used to play. I'm not playing how I should be playing. So it was a part of me that didn't feel like I was performing. I feel like I was the most inconsistent I've ever been in my career, combined with actually losing a lot of lacrosse games, which in my life like didn't happen a lot. And in that space of unknown knowing this, left room for doubt and and like anger. That's why at midseason in Minnesota we're talking, we're having this conversation about like playing with some more controlled anger, directing our that energy in a good space.
people don't see what you're describing. So that's your internal standards that you hold yourself to. Obviously, we have some of our traditional foods, but this is more of the contemporary, like modern style. We have fried bread. It is uh, Lyle recently kind of got into making it too. During ceremony, we'll have corn soup for. Like at the end of the ceremony, it's what we feed everybody. It's corn soup. It's just beans, um, salt pork, and corn. So the corn in it is boiled three times. What do you want to do us? Yeah. I think a lot were in your car. <laughs> hi. Hi, hi. For me, being creative is. You know, it's the most part, fun part of the game. It's what I practice. It's, it's like how I practice and being able to come into the game and bring that flair, bring that funness to our team. I think it makes a big difference too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like those energy games, those those uh, energy goals can shift the whole momentum of the game. And it could be a simple ground ball or it could be a simple, simple pass, simple goal. I asked Lyle who his uh, favorite players were growing up, and he had one person, and it was you. Did he ever tell you that? I don't think he ever did. I think it's just like from hearing through interviews to the other fat, like the other family members. I just watched him. I just paid attention to. Him. If you're healthy, what uh, what do you think people can expect out of you? If I'm healthy which I plan to be. Um, I don't know, it just allows me to play what, what you've always seen out of, out of me, you know what I mean? Create more creatively, more, I guess, explosive and having more fun. You know what I mean, like, last year was the most challenging year of my career because of injury. And I had to step on the field knowing that I couldn't give what I knew I was capable of if I was healthy. I was given the most I could being injured, but being healthy, you're able to just go out there more freely, enjoy the whole process. I want to create longevity through how I treat my body. I want it to be up to me. When, when I decide to hang them up, I want that to be up to me. I don't want it to become, I don't want it to be because I got injured. I know that eventually my family and my kids are, are gonna take more of a, a bigger role in terms of where I need to be. I'm 29 years old and I still love the game too much to think like, hey, when I'm 38, 39, I can't imagine not wanting to play. You wanna play till you're 40? 